Hi, my name is Jake Felliber, and I'm a safety application engineer with SICK. Today, I'd like to go through with you the unboxing of our newly released safe radar device called SafeRS. So this is a first of its kind radar technology, uh, performance level D rated. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited about this product. I think it can be added to your tool bag where other optical devices struggle. So let's go ahead and get started, connect this up, and uh, show you what it looks like. So first I have the sensor head, and what's really convenient here is the size. You can tell it's about the size of my palm, and it has a low profile, and it comes with this convenient mounting bracket that allows you um, to rotate in 10 degree increments. It also has conveniently uh, M12 five pin cabling, and you'll notice two connections. So what that's for is if you want to daisy chain up to six sensor heads. So really convenient, you can have six sensor heads connected in series, all going back to one controller, and this allows you uh, a lot of flexibility in the amount of coverage that you can create um, with one system. So secondly, I have the safety control box. So the safety control box and the sensor head must be used uh, in conjunction with one another. Uh, what's nice about this control box is it has the safety relays built in. It has the inputs uh, module built right here. So inputs for muting and restart. This would be the power connection. And this is the sensor connection terminal. What's also convenient is once this is all connected up, this is your, uh, I believe this is micro USB. Uh, so micro USB plugs in here and free configuration software from SICK. So super easy to configure and uh, free configuration software with this system. So let's go ahead and connect it up and take a look at how that um, works. So I have my 24 volt power supply. And I've done some of the wiring already, so I don't uh, have to bore you with that. But our M12 connection would go to the sensor head. There. And then just the terminating connection on the controller. Snap that into place. And then the last thing I'd have to connect is my power connection. So uh, that's the most basics of the wiring to turn on the sensor um, and get that connected in. But last thing that we don't want to forget is the terminating resistor. So just your standard looking termination, termination resistor. Um, this is CAN bus safety, so we do want to terminate it and this will always go on the last uh, sensor head or the last open connection. So if you have up to six of these, this connection would go on the sixth uh, sensor head. So we'll just get that plugged in. And on the sensor head itself, it does have indication when uh, that, that safety protected field is infringed. So you get the flashing green when that field is being infringed. So that's it. Um, that's what the connection looks like. Sensor head, control box, and power supply. So pretty simple, um, pretty exciting new addition to our safety portfolio. And I'm excited to support you guys. If you had any questions, feel free to contact your uh, local SICK representative or channel manager, and they can get you in contact with me. We can talk more about the new SafeRS. Thank you, and um, I look forward to talking with all of you. Bye-bye.